I want you to tell me how you got your name. I got my name from President Jeff Davis. The president of the Southern Confederacy. He owned my grandfather and my father. He brought them from Richmond, Virginia. My grandfather was a blacksmith. And my father was a young kid, wasn't grown. And my father had learned how to write a little bit in Richmond, Virginia before he brought him down here. Grandpa used to keep chalk in his shop to mark the other things. And my father would take a piece and put it in his pocket and pass in front of Mark Jeff's house, he'd write on the sidewalk. And so one morning, Mark Jeff come by and saw I writing on the wall. Mark Jeff's son for the boy to come to the shop, come to the house, and uh, asked him, who him how to write? Yeah, Mark Jeff, I learned how to write, listen to me, little white boy learned how to write, before he went down here. He gave him pencil, he said, write my name. Write my name, he wrote Jeff Davis' name. He wrote Joe Davis, he wrote Joe Davis. He wrote Vicksburg. He wrote Vicksburg. He said, uh-huh, Ike, that's pretty nice for you. And he went back to the shop, and Mark Jeff sent to Richmond Virginia and got two teachers. He opened a night school. He educated all these niggas. He made my father a civil engineer. And they made cutting eyes on the gummy as bookkeeper. And on and on, they made different ones, eight farmers, cottoners, sawmills, gins, all like that. Mark Jeff had five plantations over there. Ursina, Bryfield, Hurricane, Kyle Meyer and Lake Place. It all belonged to Mars Jeff. And uh, he had all those niggas from different places, all the parents to come back to school. Night school. He gave them all a farm education. When they all got free, they could take care of themselves. Uh, did they drive the uh, slaves down there and Davis had been very hard, or did they work them reasonable? Reasonable, reasonable. You know, uh, Mark Jeff would give Mark Jeff another boy, and the uh, boy was chopping cotton. Boy didn't chip with the gang, you understand? Know, with a whole clean rule. <laughs> and uh, the boy, he would come to hook the boy, boy chip, you understand? Know, boy got the hook down and run. Went to the house of Mark Jeff work. And he asked, what's the trouble, son? He said, Mr. Stone won't hook me because I would chip with the gang. And he said, well, son, go down to the kitchen now and tell me to eat breakfast for dinner. And that day he held court till o'clock, and all the hands say that uh, he didn't kill much yet, but he hold a clean rule. Hold a clean rule. He hold a clean rule yet, huh? Uh-huh, but son, he hold a clean rule, all right. You stay at the house here now. Mm-hmm. I'll get rid of him. And the next day, he fired a white man. That's what kind of man he was, fired. That nigga. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. That nigga stayed with nigga. And when he met his nigga on the road, First thing Mark Jeff was looking at and seeing is his hat turn. And everyone give him the same thing back. Give him honor. You tell me how uh, the, how the story as to how uh, Isaiah T. Montgomery's father saved the plantation during the Civil War for him? Yes, well, when, when, when uh, the Yankees was coming south to look after those places down there, they robbed somebody. I'm being seated. I'm being met to old Miss, Miss Irene, his wife. So, Miss, I'm got to go to Richmond, got to see Mars Jeff. I want a passport. Send me to Richmond to see Mars Jeff. So, we gave him being the passport. He went on to Richmond, he got some bread in the sack. He went on to Richmond, Virginia. He went on to Richmond, Virginia, and met Mars Jeff. Who did that come in? Walk in there. Hi, Mars Jeff. Hey, Ben's doing here. That came in to see you, Mars Jeff. He said, Ben, sit down and tell me all you know. How did everybody know? He said, Everybody well, Mars Jeff, but somebody come to see you, brother. So, what is it, Ben? Said, Master Jeff, the Yankees coming south, near Vicksburg, they coming down south, getting our people's land, and robbing the niggas, stealing all the mules, and in pursuit of Dave's land. And here's what I want you to do. Say, what is it, Ben? I want you to give that land to me, so I'll have it. He said, Ben, I'm going to do all good. He said, don't you belong to me, the land's mine, you're mine, well, that's going to do all good. He said, yes, it's going to do, Master Jeff, he'll do. Say, how you know? Say, Mark Jeff, can't you free me? Say, my God, free me, man. Mark Jeff, here's the head down. Say, Ben, you're right. So he took him beer up to the San Diego coast and beat the land to him and freed him and sent him back home. And when the Yankees got down to the being our home there, the Yankees come, you understand, and asked Davis' land, Davis' farm. 
The days ain't got no land. Now, who land is here? It belongs to Ben Montgomery. Why is Ben Montgomery? Yon is. Hey, come here, Ben. This your land? Yes, where you get that? Both my old master. He called my called missus. He asked for bringing those papers, you understand? Sure it comes. He made those notes and papers, you understand? Uh-huh. Then this is your land. Now, I don't want to wipe I don't want to do kind of Negro land. Man, right on. Round across the river. Then buy land talk. And when the freedom time come back, Mars Jeff, come on home, you understand? And middle him and he give him cotton bags of the money. Hmm? What are you done? Hey, don't buy your place. Don't buy your place. Right in Mars Jeff's house. Cotton bags, green bag. That's myself. He's the lowest bird in the high grass now. You're going to find outcome for the Negroes in this country. This late young nigga, I'm talking about. Late young nigga. Mm -hmm. See? Not, not old nigga like me, or old, old nigga like me. They'll live wholesome. Mm -hmm. This late young nigga, he, he, he. He got more education and he got no common sense in that head. And common sense is the best method man can ever have. Common sense. Yes. Well, do you think that uh, times are going to get better for him or? For the young nigga? Mm -hmm. No, sir. Times going to get worse. Worse for him. Because he ain't right. You can't, you can't trust him. You can't trust him. He'll do something wrong. I think you will never know it. It's a mistake. It's an honesty. Do anything you want me to do. Do it right. I well, do you think that most niggas are going to move out of this country or think they're going to stay down here? They ain't going to stay down here. They ain't going to stay down here. They're going to leave. Time to time to go leave. Time to time to get immigrants from other nationality here. Some other nationality. Well, they're going to bring some other nationality yeah, here. Yes, some other nationality. Yes. You told me this uh, stick with Jeff Davis. Yeah, stick. Mark Jeff's own stick. That's Mark Jeff's stick. That's the Mark Jeff's stick. You said Mr. Montgomery gave it to yes, you? Yes, he gave me four, uh, four, three years ago. I heard my foot one day. He said, boy, come on, go out in the house and get my stick. He said, you said, you said, you said, you got this stick now. I said, all right, cool, I'll take it. I'll take it. I got a foot for the day. A man tried to give me a stick, he jacked and sell it. He said, no, I don't want to sell it. I'm keeping my master. Are you all right? I think you're right. I think I'm right. The lady wanted me to will it to her in Cleveland down there. I told me to will her this stick if I die for it. I told Miss, I hope you live real. I hope I'll never die. <laughs> I told her. And then I knew that, knew that stick. If you'd like to learn more about George Johnson, Jefferson Davis, or the possibility of the lost Confederate gold, the links to all of the source material are in the video description below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to take a shot at the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the latest bird dog content.